In this video, we will discuss some symmetries that we learn and see examples of in algebra, trigonometry, and precalculus. Those subjects only cover a few, but there is a larger concept about symmetry that we should first consider. Symmetry is sometimes an idealized quality in the visual arts, where objects are deemed more beautiful or harmonious when they exhibit symmetry. Symmetry also relates to invariance. When we say an object has invariance, it means that it is unchanged after some transformation. When we look at the head side of a coin, and then flip the coin so that we are looking again at the head side, the coin is invariant after the transformation of flipping. In the same way, some graphs are symmetric about certain frames of reference in the coordinate plane. We can do a transformation, like flipping, and the graph stays the same. Let's look at some common symmetries and see if we can discover anything in sound and music that relates to them. First, symmetry about the x-axis, or horizontal axis. When considering equations from elementary algebra, the equation for a graph is said to be symmetric about the x-axis if replacing y with negative y yields the same equation. Visually, if we flip the graph over the horizontal axis and it stays the same, then it is symmetric about the x-axis. For example, the circle x squared plus y squared equal 1 is symmetric about the x-axis just upon visual inspection. But also, when we replace y with negative y, we get the same equation. x squared plus parentheses negative y squared equal 1 just becomes x squared plus y squared equal 1. In the realm of music, sounds are made up of sine waves which have the following graph. Just looking at the graph of the sine wave, we can see that it is not symmetric about the horizontal axis. If we flip it over the horizontal axis, it is not the same graph. However, when we hear a sine wave from an electronic oscillator, the values of the axes are very specific. The horizontal axis relates to time, and the vertical axis relates to voltage. We can flip or reflect the sine wave from an oscillator over the time axis by changing positive voltages to negative and negative voltages to positive. And when this is done, there is no change to the sound. This means the sound of the sine wave is invariant to the transformation of flipping the graph over the horizontal axis. I can even demonstrate this to you with the sound of a piano. Here is the sound of one note on a piano, and this is the graph of its waveform. Now I'll flip the waveform over the horizontal axis. Here is the sound and graph after that transformation. You'll notice that the two piano notes sound exactly the same. This is very important for sound recordings, as flipping the phase of audio can sometimes improve the overall mix of instruments. There is further discussion of this in the video on the sine and cosine functions. There is, however, a different symmetry for the sine wave. It is symmetric about the origin. What this means is if we flip the graph over the x-axis and then flip it again over the y-axis, then we get the same graph. When it comes to the equations, this means if we replace y with negative y, and also replace x with negative x, then we get the same equation. This also means that the function is an odd function. Another odd function is y equal 1 over x, which has the following graph and is also symmetric about the origin. If you take the image in the top right corner, flip it over the horizontal axis, and then flip it over the vertical axis, you'll end up with the part in the bottom left corner. So, the whole graph is symmetric about the origin. And finally, symmetry about the y-axis, or vertical axis. In the same way we saw with symmetry about the x-axis, an equation for a graph is symmetric about the y-axis if replacing x with negative x yields the same equation. The circle we saw before has this quality, but so does the parabola y equal x squared. We can see this in the following graph. If we flip the whole parabola over the vertical axis, it lands right back where it started. We can also verify this symmetry with the equation by replacing x with negative x. y equal parentheses negative x squared is the same thing as x squared. The sine wave we saw before is not symmetric about the y-axis, but the cosine wave is. Recall that in the realm of sound from an electronic oscillator, the horizontal axis relates to time and the vertical axis relates to voltage. Since we cannot yet go back in time, we cannot consider negative time values. However, if we change the horizontal axis to relate to frequency, then there is an invariance we can discuss. Here is a graph of the frequency of a cosine wave with frequency 440 Hz. In this graph, the horizontal axis relates to frequency and the vertical axis relates to voltage. Negative frequencies do not exist in a real audio sense. However, when frequency modulation was discussed in another video, the calculations yielded waves with negative frequencies. 
With a cosine wave, which is related to a sine wave, the sound is the same whether the frequency is negative or positive. In this way, the sound is invariant under reflection over the vertical axis. We can also note that functions with symmetry about the vertical axis are called even functions. There are other symmetries that are very important to music that relate to concepts learned in mathematics. When we learn how to move graphs under what are called translations, the graphs look the same but are just moved to another location. Music works the same way for us. When we listen to a song today and then listen to the same song tomorrow, the song has remained the same under the transformation of moving through time.